So obviously you're here at Temple now, but I want to start from the beginning. So your dad was a high school wrestling coach. Growing up in that atmosphere, did you ever have any inclination to start getting into that sport? Or When I was younger, I always thought that I was going to be a wrestler because I had like no idea and everything, and I was just surrounded by that my whole entire like childhood. And then my dad's wrestlers convinced me to play soccer or like another sport because it obviously wasn't like acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> so how old were you when you started getting into soccer? Um, I was five. Now you're also a skilled field hockey player, so how did you kind of make a transition to playing both of those sports? Throughout high school, I played soccer and field hockey, and my senior year I had to play both during the fall because soccer got switched to the fall season. It was self-motivation. She's the one that decided to do that. Uh, her three sisters now are in high school, they're doing the same thing. So there was really no you know, motivation other than internal motivation. The athletic trainers really helped us and the coaches really like let us ease into it, didn't push us too hard but expected a lot from us at the same time. After every session we were with the trainers for a half an hour to an hour like icing and everything. Our trainers at Whitehall High School are phenomenal. Uh, number one, I mean they took care of her, they take care of my daughters, uh, they made sure she was on the field at all times. She's never missed a game. Now, you committed to Indiana University to play field hockey originally, so was field hockey always your original plan, or were you thinking of soccer more at one point? I always thought I was going to play soccer in college, and then my sophomore to junior year, I didn't like club soccer as much, so that's what really made me decide field hockey, and when I visited Indiana, I loved the campus, the coaches, and the team. Now you played in 18 games for the Hoosiers, had two goals, so what made you kind of start to second guess if that was the right fit for you? What really made me decide was the distance was really far for me and I always thought I was going to stay close to home. My mom is the one who actually brought it up to me about playing Temple and my friend Elaine is on the team who I played club with and so I got in contact with her and my mom contacted her mom and then so she talked to Seamus for me and everything. So what has the biggest change been for you since you've been back closer to home? Definitely like seeing my family more like I get to see both parents every weekend instead of just one. Um, my sisters get to come to games. It's been great I mean you can see it in her face she's enjoying it a lot more she's smiling all the time. Soccer's always been her true love and as parents we love coming to support and we bring a lot of relatives along too. Now, Seamus has put you right into the starting rotation at forward, so how have you reacted to that? It was a surprise because I still feel kind of rusty, and I feel it's starting to come back, and my soccer IQ is starting to come back and everything, so hopefully it even gets better. Now, Leslie, where do you think you'd be today if you had begun wrestling all those years back? Uh, I don't know. I'm really glad that I <laughs> didn't do it, though. Completely different lifestyle. Yeah.